So the Prickness takes his next in the second leg of the American Triple Crown. One mile, one and a half furlong group. One, of course, is in Bard Bruni. At the top for Paul Rhodes, Pepito Blades. Dan Hughes take the high ground. Jim Murray, the winner last week. Titillating Joshua Sutherland. Trumpet coup. James Shane Brown, Thomas Paul Rhodes, City Tribunal, Jim Murray, Double Indemnity, Leon Van Rinsburg, Morning Ice Hero for Munas, and Two Eyed the Rushka, Darren Thompson. Only 10 of them in this. I'm not sure all that many people are all that interested in these American races, to be honest. And installed and ready to go. And away they go. And Morning Ice Hero, Brown Thomas on the outside, and Brown Thomas. He's the one who's going to get off into the lead, is he? But now Morning Ice Hero comes back up the inside. Then Pepito Blades, his third city tribunal, is there. T take the high ground. He's much closer to that than he was last week. Then comes Double Indemnity. Looking towards the back trumpet coup. Who was the other one who came through with a rattle last week? He's doing the same thing this week and sitting out the back. So let's see how the tactics work this time. Morning Ice Hero is in front. Brown Thomas is in second. He's in by Kingdom. Brunel is chasing after that one. Then comes City Tribunal and take the high ground with Double Indemnity and Pepito Blades. Then comes Two Eyed Darushka and finally Trumpet Coup. Five and a half furlongs left to go then in the Preakness and it's Morning Ice Hero who's clearing the lead from Take the High Ground in second. Then Isambard Brunel and Brown Thomas on the inside. After that one, Double Indemnity in the City Tribunal. The Grey Pepito Blades is next. Then Titillating Trumpet Coup is getting a bit closer to Eyed the Rushka. He's going to try and come round the outside but Morning Ice Hero is currently two and a half lengths clear of Brown Thomas in second. On the outside, City Tribunal coming through with a run. Double Indemnity looks to be going well. So too does his and Bar Brunel. Titillating is going to need some have some room on the inside there. Getting a bit boxed in. Trumpet Coup's also running into a bit of a dead end. But it's Morning Ice Hero then. Coming down towards the final two. And Morning Ice Hero is in the lead from Brown Thomas. City Tribunal then. Double Indemnity. Trumpet Coup is now getting a bit of a split up the inside. Then comes Isambard Brunel. Titillating is there as well. Morning Ice Hero is in front. Then comes Brown Thomas. Trumpet Coup is now coming through. And Trumpet Coup's coming through. And a challenger inside the final half. Well, it's Trumpet Coup gets in the lead. And Trumpet Coup is going to make up for not winning last week and Trumpet Coup won't be cool this time Trumpet Coup takes it from well, Morning Ice Hero Brown Thomas Titillated is in my blue and after that there'll be no body takes the triple crown this season as last week's second reverses the form Trumpet Coup but there's a steward's inquiry and Trumpet Coup did have a bit of a dodgy passage through uh, and he's been chucked out. Oh, goodness me. James Shea. Trumpet Coup has been thrown out of the Preakness for causing interference. I didn't see him causing that much interference. I thought he won that on merit and he won it easily. To be honest, that is a travesty in my book. Morning Ice Hero for Munas takes the Preakness. I'm not sure Munas will actually be all that pleased about that because I think he'd probably agree that Trumpet Coup was the better horse. But it's not what's going to be in the books. And Morning Ice Hero for Munas takes the Preakness. Brown Thomas for Paul Rhodes second. Titillating for Joshua Sutherland third. Isambard Brunel for Paul Rhodes back in fourth. City Tribunal for Jim Murray fifth. Last week's winner take the high ground. Never got into it at all. And Trumpet Coup. So unlucky. Maybe the jockey should have gone round the outside instead of trying to weave up the inside. But... I don't think he caused that much trouble, and I think he won it on merit, but there you go.